Imagine you were in charge of getting desperately needed supplies to a war zone, facing a process that could involve loss of life and risk to high value aircraft. Well now, with the range and payload of autonomous aircraft increasing, piloted flights are no longer the only answer. And Rotocraft Specialist Command thinks it will offer a step change with its new cargo uncrewed aerial vehicle that is due to start flight testing in July. We have a lot of history doing unmanned work at Command, uh, but this one is a clean sheet design. Cargo UAV is designed really initially to fit a military need. Uh, we know that in the future our troops are going to be dispersed, uh, for example, in the Pacific. Uh, we know they're going to need resupply in a very different manner. Uh, so uh, rather than use manned aviation, uh, heavy and expensive aircraft to resupply those troops, what we're offering is an alternative with a, with a lighter aircraft, unmanned, so you can take the risk that you need to, to to sustain those troops. To get the special capabilities of autonomous aircraft like this available as soon as possible, Command opted to go with an existing turbine engine rather than looking to introduce electric propulsion. The Rolls-Royce R300 turboshaft will allow the cargo UAV to carry up to 800 pounds of payload on distances of up to 500 miles. So cargo carries up to 800 pounds uh, either by an internal conformal pod or by an external load as you'd, have, as you'd seen on KMAX uh, before. A typical military mission you know, would, would launch from a ship up to 500 miles away, uh, go to a forward operating area, load up with the supplies that you need to deliver to different outposts, and then you kind of do, you know, you, you visit these different outposts at whatever times that the operators need them, and the, it runs really just a cyclic operation uh, until it's time to go back to the rear area for any type of work that might need to be done on the machine. On the commercial side, you know, maybe uh, you're resupplying an oil platform, for example. So you could either use a surface vessel, which is incredibly slow. There are times when you need heavy equipment in place. Uh, the idea is you can precisely place things so you can negate the need for heavy equipment and other types of fork tractors and things like that that you would have to move things around. Again, just trying to solve things in the simplest way we can for the customer. Well, imagine what a difference that could make somewhere like Ukraine, where the country's allies are trying to resupply its troops and civilians as they desperately repel invading Russian forces. Operating from a base near Zhyshov in southeastern Poland, an aircraft like this could provide supplies to much of western Ukraine, including Lviv. But it wouldn't quite have the range for a round-trip drop-off in Kyiv, 435 miles away. So using a base such as Chisinau in Moldova, the UAV could reach Ukraine's capital and many other parts of the south and east of the besieged country. But Command isn't the only game in town. In fact, several new companies like Elroy Air, Mighty Fly, Kitty Hawk and Pipistrol are also advancing new vertical lift options for moving much needed supplies without needing pilots on board. And in some cases, they're using hybrid electric propulsion rather than a conventional turboshaft engine. Elroy Air's Chaparral vehicle is expected to carry up to 500 pounds of payload with a range of over 300 miles. It is being evaluated by the US Air Force's Agility Prime program to assess how electric and autonomous aircraft could be used for military missions. Express delivery giant FedEx has agreed to conduct trials with the Chaparral as well. Meanwhile, the US Air Force has already conducted joint flight tests with Kitty Hawk's curiously named Heaviside vehicle. This could be used for various missions, including evacuating injured soldiers behind enemy lines or delivering supplies. Mighty Fly recently conducted the first remotely piloted flights with its hybrid electric MF-100 freighter, which will have a range of 600 miles, but a payload of just 100 pounds. However, the startup is already working on a larger version that could carry 500 pounds. Slovenia-based Pipistrol, which is in the process of being acquired by the US group Textron, is developing a new, larger version of its Nuva family of drones that promises a payload of 660 pounds and range of just over 300 miles. Chinese logistics group SF Express is jointly developing this aircraft with Pipistrol and expects to start flight testing in 2022 and be ready to start operations in 2023. To operate safely in autonomous mode, the cargo UAV will use sensors developed by Near Earth Autonomy. 
By December 2022, Command expects to be ready to demonstrate the new aircraft to U.S. Defense Department officials. In fact, the U.S. Marines have already operated an autonomous version of Command's KMAX helicopter to support combat operations in Afghanistan. Our focus is on logistics, really. So no more do we, do we hope to see you know, our, our MV-22s loading up with pallets of water to carry into hostile areas so that Marines can drink water, right? This is the type of thing that should be done by unmanned systems. And the same could be true for any of these future manned systems, these, these expensive and complex systems that need to be preserved for these high order missions, right? So let us do the dirty, dangerous work uh, and do the logistics work with the unmanned systems. Command and its competitors also envisage civilian air freight services as being part of their business model. But regulators likely will need more time to approve their use in residential areas. So it could be that military and emergency relief situations will be early adopters of this technology to prove the capability of autonomous flight in circumstances where the clear benefits would be seen to outweigh the risks.